The main advantages of this technique are that it is well suited for large area deposition, rapid prototyping, and print by design, which suggests high potential for roll-to-roll -roll manufacturing. Though this system can provide insight into inorganic photovoltaics, it can also be applied to other systems, such as organic photovoltaics or biophysics. Demonstrating the chemical synthesis procedure will be Mason McCormick, an undergraduate from the Sinitsky Laboratory, and the printing procedure will be demonstrated by Dylan Richmond from the Illy Laboratory. To prepare the cesium oleate precursor, add 0.203 grams of cesium carbonate, 10 milliliters of octadecene, and 1.025 milliliters of oleic acid to a three-neck round-bottom flask containing 2.54 centimeter magnetic stir bar. Place a thermometer into one of the necks of the round-bottom flask via a rubber septum. Next, place a rubber septum into one of the remaining necks of the round-bottom flask and attach the third neck to the nitrogen gas line via a Schlenk line. Place the mixture under nitrogen atmosphere. Heat the mixture to 150 degrees Celsius with constant stirring at a stirring speed of 399 millimeters per second until the cesium carbonate fully dissolves. Following this, lower the temperature to 100 degrees Celsius to avoid precipitation and decomposition of the cesium oleate and continue stirring at a stirring speed of 399 millimeters per second. To prepare the olelamine lead bromide precursor, add 1.35 millimoles of lead bromide, 37.5 milliliters of octadecene, 7.5 milliliters of olelamine, and 3.75 milliliters of oleic acid.